He walks these halls now, these patterns on the tiles he stares at. They look different to him, yet there's still an old brown stain from where they bashed his face in the corner of the stairwell. He keeps them at bay with his scars and lets nobody, and I mean nobody, in. His mom was gone for years, though her body was there. He wears these shades, head down, never smiling. The school is like a society, full of oppression, institution-like. You can't bear to look up and see the jocks. You cannot bear to look up at the hate he harbors. Scribbling lists with his name on the top and other students' names below. The list is found. He gets a few days off to lie in bed, just like his mom did. I observe him. I observe everything, like he observes the tiles. We're alike yet from two separate angles. See, everyone is afraid of him. This forms stereotypes in his mind, but I somehow see through, maybe by seeing him. And I'm not afraid of him, or his safety pin through his lip skin and the eye shell taken out, the pitch black shadow of doom in the hall. He's everyone's shadow. As pure as pain, he's you and me, because we're all the same. If there was no dark, there'd be no light. If you see me from one angle, the angle where you don't like, then you're the one with no color, and I'm the one standing, staring into the light.